there! This is Leanne Dunn of Pine Hollow Paper Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make this versatile card using the Painted Harvest set. So today we're going to do a card with these colors, but I also wanted to show you some of the other colors that we've done. So this one was done using Grapefruit Grove, and then this one was done using Bermuda Bay. So you can really do a lot of different colors with it, a lot of different sayings. It's really versatile, great for so many different occasions. So for the one that we're doing today, we will start off with the card base, which is a piece of rich razzleberry cardstock cut to eight and a half by five and a half inches, and it's scored in half at four and a quarter. So we'll set that aside for now. The piece that we'll be stamping on is a piece of the Wood Textures Designer Series paper, and it measures five and a quarter by four inches. So to start, we will use from the Painted Harvest set, this piece here, which I refer to the thicker of the flower pieces in that set. And we're going to use Berry Burst. So we'll go ahead and ink up the stamp. And we're going to stamp in an arc this way. So I'm going to start with the one that's going to be fully on the paper, which is going to be down in this corner. Just applying even pressure to make sure the whole image gets stamped. And then we're going to do a couple more. So we'll do one maybe about half up on this corner. And then we'll do about another one and a half. So we'll do another half down here, and just a teeny tiny little corner piece over here. Okay, so now we're done using this one. We're going to move on to the more detailed floral piece here. So we're gonna switch from our berry burst over to Rich Razzleberry. And again, we'll go ahead and ink up the stamp. And we're going to stamp right over top of this image. This will be a little hard to see with my stamp because I've used it a lot, so it's been a little stained. But we're just going to go right over the center. And then we're just going to repeat with these other two. You can turn them, uh, have a little bit of variation there. All right, so now you have the basis of your flower, and now we're going to fill it in. So this set also has this nice little circle piece, so we'll go ahead and put away the rich razzleberry, and we're going to move over to crumb cake. Go ahead and ink it up again, and again we're just going to stamp this right in the center. see there I did that one twice because I missed a little bit and it still looks fine. So the good thing about this set is even if you mess up it's easy to fix or it just looks good anyway. So the next piece that we're going to use I still have to pull out so I will show you this is what the stamp set looks like and we're going to use these little circles right here and I'm going to use crumb cake again for them. So we'll just gently get a little bit of ink on these and just gonna stamp right in that light area in the center. All right, the flowers are all done. So now we can move on to adding the accent pieces of the leaves. So this is the piece that I used for the leaf and we're going to use Old Olive. So we're just gonna ink up and we're just going to fill in some of the blank spots. So you're just going to randomly place this throughout your card. Okay, so now that we're done inking that up, we're going to go ahead and stamp our little saying on there. So I'm going to be using my favorite set, which is Friendly Expressions. As you can see, it comes with a lot of really, really beautiful expressions that you can put on your card. So I'm going to do the same that I already showed you, which is the congratulations to you. And we're also going to be using Rich Razzleberry. So for placement, we'll go ahead and get this inked up again. 
we're just going to set it kind of over a bit because we're still going to tie um, a piece of thread. So we're going to place this right about here. And next we're going to tie our thread. So for this project, I'm using a piece of linen thread, which I've cut to about 26 inches, which I think should leave plenty. So I'm not the best at tying, so this will probably be fast forward. But what I usually do is leave a little bit of where I'm going to tie, so I'm gonna tie right about here. I'm going to wrap it around twice. And then I would tie from there. So let me loosen this a little bit. So I'm going to use some glue dots to secure onto the back so it doesn't slip. And I'll use a glue dot to adhere right here for me to tie my, my little bow. But I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and save you the pain. Okay, so now we've finally got that bow tied. I am so sorry. I don't know why I'm so bad at those, but I am. So now we can go ahead and attach it to our card base. And then from here, we can go ahead and just fold our card in half. There you go, there's our completed card. So as you can see, it's very quick, very easy, and you can do so many different things with it. I think it's just a great fun card. Um, you could do it on a plain piece of paper. There's other pieces in the Wood Textures Designer Series Paper Pack that you could use. So I encourage you, of course, to get creative with it. And if you try this out, I'd love to see what you've made with it. Well, thank you so much for watching. Bye.